What's going on, everybody? So I'm up bright and early to react to these 2023 Oscar nominations. Um, don't really know why I continue to give a shit about the Oscars after they fail me every single year and fail uh, film lovers all around the world. <laughs> but um, I'm here, uh, as always, for some reason, and, uh, for s and I'm always excited to do it. So, Okay, they're doing actress in a supporting role. Angela Bassett. Black Panther, yeah, I saw that coming. Shame. Hong Chow in the Whale, that's good. She was great in the Whale, that's good. Oh, Carrie Con and the Banshees of Inna Sharon, that's awesome. Well deserved. Oh shit, Jimmy Lee Curtis and everything gave her all at once, alright. Oh shit, Stephanie Chu from Everything Everywhere All at Once. Okay, you know what? This isn't bad. Besides Angela Bassett, that was pretty good. Costume design. Alright. Babylon. Babylon. Okay, good. Black Panther, because it's Black Panther. You gotta give it to Black Panther, because it's Black Panther. <laughs> Elvis, I guess. Everything gave her all at once. Okay, it looks like it, everything gave her all at once is going to get all the noms it deserves. The Mrs. Harris goes to Paris. I don't know what that is, but okay. Nominees for Best Sound. All Quiet on the Western Front. All Quiet on the Western Front. It's a war movie, so I think that it's deserved. Avatar, The Way of Water. I mean, I don't really like the movie, but I can understand it getting nominated for a bunch of technicals. Elvis. Oh, they also the Batman. Like, okay. And Top Gun. And Top Gun. Yeah, this, this is all to be expected. I'm surprised Babylon didn't get one, honestly. Oh, maybe it'll get it in score. It should get score, Babylon. Okay, that's one. That's one film that I missed last year, so I'm not sure. Babylon. Awesome. They deserved it. Banshees. Okay. Yes, I thought it had a great score. Everything everywhere. Good. Excellent score. Fablemans, I guess. I don't really remember the score from that movie, to be honest. Kind of a weak year for score, to be honest with you. Adapted screenplay. Let's go The Whale. Okay. All Quiet on the Western Front is getting a lot of nominations. I think that, I think that was to be expected. Oh, Glass Onion. Okay. That was a great film. Living. Written by Living. I didn't, didn't hear about that one. Oh, I'm sorry. I know there's a lot of Top Gun fans out there, but I don't think it deserves screenplay. Women Talking. I missed that one, too. I'm going to watch it soon. Okay, yes. Banshees, yes. Best screenplay. Everything everywhere, yes, best screenplay, absolutely. The Fablemans, okay, I mean, I guess I'm not that offended by that. It's a good movie. Tar, yes. The Triangle of Sadness, yes. I think these are all pretty fair. Short, I don't know any of these, any of these shits. My Year of Dicks. Alright. <laughs> Couldn't say my year of dicks with a straight face. An ostr I don't know, something about an ostrich. An ostrich told me the world is fake, and I think I believe it. It's a cool title, honestly. Actor in a supporting role. Brendan Gleeson, absolutely. Kind of hoping Barry Kagan gets one too for that film. Brian Tyree Henry Causeway. Okay, that's kind of a surprise. Judd Hirsch, The Fablemans, I guess. Oh shit, there he is, Barry Barry Kagan for Banshees. Two two nominations for Banshees is awesome. And Kei Hui Kwan, hell yeah. It's about to get pissed if they didn't get him. Honestly, I think I think Kei Hui Kwan deserves it more than anybody. Um, I mean the first batch, it's really not that bad. I think all that. Actually, I just realized I don't think The Whale got for Best Adapted Screenplay. <laughs> Damn. Yeah, I don't remember The Whale being announced for Best Adapted Screenplay. That's actually kind of fucked. 
But I mean, it's not surprising because that movie's pretty divisive, and there was plenty of people that didn't think the screenplay was all that great. So it's not surprising. I mean, it's disappointing for me personally, but I guess it's not something that I exactly expected. I was just kind of pulling for it, but yeah, not not that disappointing. Besides, perhaps the whale getting snubbed. Um, I mean, obviously, my dream Oscars would not look like this at all. It would look a lot better than this, but. In terms of what I expect from the Oscars, it's not too bad. Anyway, we're we're going back. The for achievement in music. Best original song, I don't know. The one for Pinocchio is good. Applause from Tell It Like a Woman. Hold my hand from Top Gun. Maverick. Hold my hand from Top Gun. Ugh. I normally get a lot of dislikes of people who love Top Gun, but I'm sorry. I think it's a good movie, but I think it's just a little overrated. Oh, not to, not to from RRR. Hell yeah. This is, a life from everything everywhere. this is everything everywhere all at once. Hell yeah. Really cool to see RRR get a song nomination too. Uh, that that movie's awesome. If you want to see, if you want to watch a great action movie, watch RRR. International feature film. Holy spider. Holy spider. Holy spider. Let's go. Okay. Argentina 1985. Yeah, I heard that was good. Close, yeah, I heard that was good too. Yo, okay, that's awesome. Oh, the quiet girl. Okay, the Holy Spider didn't get one, which is pretty disappointing. But the quiet girl got one, and that's a a lovely film too. Ah, this is an animated feature film. Pinocchio, of course, probably Puss in Boots, yes. Marcel the Shell, that's good. Yes. Puss in Boots. The Sea Beast. I haven't heard that. And turning, red. turning Red. Okay. Damn, I'm kind of bummed about Holy Spider. Makeup and hairstyling. All Quiet on the Western Front. The Batman. Black Panther. Can you give one to the whale? Yes, the whale! Thank fucking God. Hi. We're just staring into the abyss. <laughs> she just sat there staring blankly. Best production design. Okay. Quantum on Western Front, war movie. Be expected. Avatar, okay. Babylon, yes. I'm glad to see Babylon get the some technicals. Elvis, I guess. Fableman's, okay. I think everywhere, everything everywhere kind of deserved that too. Film editing, okay. Everything everywhere has to get this. This is a lock. Banshees, okay. I wasn't too like blown away by the editing in that movie, but it's a great film. Elvis, okay. Fucking everything everywhere, good. Tar, okay, that's a great choice, yes. And Top, Gun, Top Gun, yeah. I mean, I didn't like Top Gun, but that film did have some pretty bomb-ass editing. I mean, because it, it's an action movie and the sound and just overall editing was pretty damn good, so whatever. Cinematography. All Quiet on the Western Front. Damn, she's getting a lot of nominations. I don't think it's going to win any of these, to be honest with you. Oh, Bardo! Bardo just got a cinematography nomination. That is fucking amazing. Well-deserved. Empire of Ait. And Tar, okay. Like, I feel it was my dream list. I would have nominated like the Northmen and Nope, and um, yeah, shit like that. Visual effects, all quiet on the western. Why, why even nominate anything? It's Avatar is gonna win. Avatar. The Batman. Black Panther. Black <laughs> Panther. Top Gun. Okay. All these, all these kind of make sense, except, I mean, Black Panther makes sense in the Academy's mind, but everybody knows the visual effects for Marvel movies aren't really that crazy. Actor in a leading role. Austin Butler. Okay, I'm just hoping they don't snub Brendan Fraser here. Colin Farrell. All right. Brendan Fraser. Yes. Let's go. 
Paul Mescal from After Sun. <laughs> yes, that's awesome. The Nine Living, okay. Really cool that they nominated Paul Mescal for After Sun. That's really awesome. Actress in a leading role. Yeah, Kate Blanchett. Kate Blanchett, that is correct. And a Darmas for Blonde, okay. Didn't like the movie that much, but she did pretty damn good. Andre Riseboro. I didn't know she had a lead role this year. Michelle Williams, I guess. Michelle Yeoh, okay. Everything everywhere. Yes. Pulling for either Kate Blanchett or Michelle Yeoh, but honestly, I think, I think I'm leaning more towards Michelle Yeoh at this point. Best Directing, big category. Martin McDonough, okay. Great director. Yes, the Daniels for everything, everywhere, all at once. Steven Spielberg for the Fablemans, that's to be expected. Todd Field for Tar. Please snub James Cameron. Yes! <laughs> they snubbed James Cameron! Yes! <laughs> Ruben Oslin for, tri for Triangle of Sadness. <laughs> That's amazing. I love it. Best picture. Okay. That means Avatar has pretty much no chance of getting best picture. Like, winning-wise. Avatar. Okay, it's getting a nomination, but it's not going to win. Because they didn't get nominated for screenplay or directing. The Banshees, absolutely. Oh my fucking god. Elvis for best picture, really? Really? Okay, of course. Everything everywhere all at once, well deserved. Fablemans. Fablemans was, was a pretty good movie. I don't think it was amazing, but it was pretty good. I was surprised by it. Tar, yes. Very good choice. Oh my fucking god. Top Gun Maverick for fucking best picture. Triangle of Sadness. That's awesome, actually. Was not expecting that for best picture. Women talking, okay. It seems like a lot of shit got snubbed here, to be honest with you. Yeah. Okay, well, that's it, basically, guys. Um, don't really... I mean... Okay, I was... I'm pretty disappointed at Holy Spider not getting a nomination, because that film is absolutely incredible, but... It is a very political kind of movie, and I can understand why they wouldn't even really want to touch it. Um, but it's just still so disappointing not to see that get some exposure. Um, Quiet Girl was nominated for Best International Film, which kind of makes up a little bit for the Holy Spider thing. But um, still, I can't kind of help be kind of bummed out by that. Quiet Girl is a fantastic film, though. For those who haven't heard of it or seen it, please go watch The Quiet Girl. Um... Best Director was a great category, to be honest with you. Um, I don't know. Look, I mean, <laughs> I know there's a lot of, like, Avatar fans out there. And I thought the movie was fine. You know, I thought it was a lot better than the first one. But um, I'm just kind of glad to see, you know, other filmmakers like Ruben Oslin get a nomination over somebody like James Cameron. Um, but, yeah, and then Best Picture category... I mean, hold on. Let me see here. I'm going to back it up a little bit. All Quiet on the Western Front, Avatar The Way of Water, The Banshees of Inisherin, Sharon, Elvis, Everything Everywhere All at Once. Okay, so Avatar, I don't think deserves to be there. Elvis, I don't think deserves to be there. Um, Top Gun Maverick, I'm sorry. I know there's a lot of Top Gun Maverick fans. I'm sure I'm going to get dis a lot of dislikes on this video just because I'm not really that huge on Top Gun. But I'm sorry. Like, There's so many films this year that I just feel like are much more impressive than Top Gun Maverick. I mean, yeah, the action in it is really awesome, and the editing and all that is really... I think I think the third act of Top Gun is really great, but just in terms of screenplay, I'm sorry. I think it's really, really weak. Um, so I just don't... I'm sorry. I don't think it's best picture material. Um, I mean, it's awesome that Triangle of Sadness got a spot. Everything Everywhere got a spot. Banshee's got a spot. 
Um, and Tar, that's great. Those are like my four favorite Best Picture nominations. I mean, I'm not offended by the Fablemans getting a nomination, but um, if I could take ones out, it'd definitely be Elvis, Avatar, and um, Top Gun. I, I, you know, I don't want to speak on women talking or All Quiet on the Western Front because I haven't really seen them. But, um, yeah, I don't know. Let me double check to see who really got snubbed because off the top of my head, I can't really remember fully. I mean, obviously, if it was like my dream Oscars, I would nominate The Whale for Best Picture, Babylon for Best Picture. I mean, I would nominate The Northman, but I knew The Northman was going to get jack shit, which is bullshit. I mean, at the very least, The Northman should have got like technicals, like best like sound and best editing and best uh, cinematography, things like that. But Or fucking production design. Like, can you at least give The Northman best production design? Um, so The Northman got nothing, which is... Not surprising because Robert Eggers gets snubbed every fucking year. Yeah, um, RRR getting best song is awesome. RRR should have got also like uh, best uh, best international feature in my opinion. Um, but I haven't seen a lot of them honestly, so I can't, it's hard to say whether or not I would swap one out. But I mean, yeah, in certain ways I think it was cool. But I don't know. So, uh, in, in other ways, it was a little bit disappointing. But it could have been worse. It really could have been worse. So. Um, I'm glad everything ever all at once got pretty much all the nominations that it deserves. It got two supporting actress noms, which is awesome. Um, the Whale at least got a Best Supporting Actress nom, which is great. Um, Brendan Fraser got nominated for The Whale, which is great. It didn't get nominated for Best Adapted Screenplay, which is kind of disappointing for me. Um, got nominated for Best Makeup, too, so that's good. Uh, Banshee's just all across the board got nominated, which is great because that's my third favorite film of the year. Everything Everywhere is my second. So, I mean, I love Banshees and I love Everything Everywhere. Those are That's my number two and number three. So those pretty much swept the nominations on, pretty, on all the important categories. So that's pretty cool. I mean, I think Everything Everywhere kind of, I mean, I guess it doesn't have the most amazing production design but what they were able to accomplish in so many different like multiverse situations i think they did a great job so i kind of think it deserved one there um triangle of sadness getting a director nom a best picture nom and a screenplay nom is pretty damn awesome i have to say though um but yeah i mean that's it um some definitely got some you know disappointing moments but that's to be expected um but overall it's not so bad now it's up to the oscars if they want to make this a great night or an absolute shit show of a night. But since um, since James Cameron didn't get nominated for Best Screenplay or Best Director, um, you know, I can at least rest assured that Avatar is not going to get, you know, Best Picture, Best Director or Best Screen. I mean, I, mean, I knew it was going to get Best Screenplay, but I thought like James Cameron could take like a Best Director award or Avatar could even take Best Picture. So like I can at least rest, e rest easy knowing that's not going to be the case. Um but, yeah, um, I mean, I guess that's it. I'm pulling for Brendan Fraser, my boy. I don't, you know, it's a chance that Austin Butler could beat him. I kind of hope that's not the case because I think the, I think Brendan Fraser deserves it massively. Um, but we'll see what happens, guys. We'll see what happens. Um, I, guess, I guess that's all I got to say for now. I'm sure I'm missing some snubs here and there, but it's kind of hard to remember everything in my head. But, yeah, um, some that, that, this is fun. I always love doing this. And um, that's it. If you really enjoyed my reaction to the 2023 Oscar nominations, please make sure to give this video a thumbs up and share it amongst your friends. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel to be updated on more film-related content.